Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video. I am Aditya. In this video, we are gonna see the basic difference between computed property and watcher and when to use what. So without any further ado, let's begin. So the concept of computed property or watcher remains the same whether you're using view 2 or view 3, it doesn't matter. So what changes is the syntax. So what we are gonna do is we'll focus on the concept and then I will show you how to write them in view 3 and how they differ from each other. So let's start with the concept first. So let's go to the project. Uh, here I have a simple view project installed with, uh, created with view CLI actually. So let's see what it has. So inside this SRC folder we have views and then home.view and so on. So here we have a hello world component which is coming from here only hello world.view so I'll just open this uh, it has a lot of code so I'll just remove most of it and let's just have only like the minimalistic things so here we just have a message icon that <laughs> and now what I want to do is I want to change this message into uppercase so we have here welcome to your view just app and here we have that message passed from here. Now, one way to do is, is to statically do it, like just convert here into uppercase and it will be into uppercase. The other way to do is, is to use a JavaScript function which is something like this. Now, if I go back again over here, it will show me the message in uppercase. But if you see, like, it's okay. Currently, I just have like one function to just convert it to uppercase, but still it doesn't seem right to see the javascript inside a template like the variables are okay but a javascript function something like this inside a template and also when you have several calculations to be done on one property and ch show the changed value if you have to show the changed value then this not me this is not a good idea also writing a method or a function and having a return value of it that's not a good idea either so how about if we have a variable or a data property which is which would be something like this like message computed and that's it we don't have to worry about anything so this thing is nothing known is nothing but computed property so as the name suggests computed property is nothing but a calculated property based on one or more variables or data variables so you can consider it like a it's, it's nothing but like a, another data variable thing but not exactly a data variable thing okay this might be confusing so it is like just a variable which is a calculated property which is dependent on one or more other variables which are reactive or may not be reactive okay so let's take an example. So if this was view 2, we would be writing something like this, computed, or precisely if this was options API. And we will be having this MSG computed as a function. And inside that, we will be returning a value, something like this. So it would be this dot MSG dot to uppercase. Uh, this one, yeah. Now, if we go back again to our code over here, we have this in uppercase, which is fine. But what are we doing over here? We are just returning a value which is dependent on this message, which is nothing but the prop over here. Okay. So whenever this prop will change, the value of MSG computed will also be changed and it will be recalculated. The MSG computed value or the computed property in general are cached. Okay. And the other thing to notice here is these properties or these values, they change like they're calculated real time. Okay. So this was a view two syntax, but how about view three? So in view three, we just, I'll just comment this over here. And in view three, we have the set of function or in, to be precise in composition API, we have a set of function. And then we have to import computed from view. Okay. And then here we pass props because we want to use props inside this. And we have a variable as MSG computed. 
and we have a function which is computed. Oops, sorry. Now, whether it's view 2 or view 3, the concept is computed property has to return a value or it returns a value whether it's a computed function or rather not the property itself but the computed function returns a value okay so it's like more like a getter function so here this computed function so as you could see this msg computed is a function which is used here as a variable or computed property in the same way now this thing has become a computed function which will take in a function as a parameter and this function as the name suggests is a getter function so this function is going to return something and that would be nothing but props dot msg dot to uppercase so props refers to this props msg refers to this prop like the msg inside this props and we are just converting into uppercase now to use this in use this inside our template we just return this so we say return msg computed okay now if i go back again over here nothing will change everything will be as it is so this as you could see like we are using the props message again here to calculate or to change this into uppercase now let's say uh, let's simulate an example where we are getting this message after say two seconds or maybe three seconds so this message has a default value of this and later this is changed after two seconds so let's write a simple set of functions here so i'm going to say import uh, ref from view you'll come to know why i'm importing this and here we will write a set of function and then we will have const msg equal to ref of and by default it will have this value let's say so let's take this and put it in this ref as a by default value and then after oh, we are missing something here uh, no i guess okay this oh yes we missed export default and then we if this goes inside this export default so it goes here and let's say that after so set interval so after every uh, two seconds or let's say after two seconds this value is changed so this will be a function and this function will be executed after every two seconds so let's say this msg dot value becomes something like this is a new message okay and okay let's do like this so if it was this it becomes this else it becomes back again like this a very random logic just to show that message is changing after every two seconds so then we will have uh what we will have no nothing we will just have to return this so return msg and then we just have to bind it over here so we'll just remove this value write msg and simply bind it now if we go back to our code so we have a bunch of errors so we have export default not written correctly so we have this over here uh oh sure we already had one export default we should have put it over here inside this my bad so this will go okay so let's go back again over here we have welcome to uh just have unexpected condition oh okay so we have to write it like this uh, like this if this value is equal to this then make it this else make it back to normal now you will see that the very the message is changing and so is the computed property so what's happening here is after the message is changed so if i go to hello world view this computed property will be recalculated okay and then it will be changed back to the uppercase so this function will run every time whenever this props dot message changes okay so if i go back again over here you will see that it will be like changing again and again but it will be always in uppercase because we ask it to be in uppercase now this was an example of computer property now let's take an example of watcher 
watches. But before that, let's understand what are watchers or what is a watch. So watchers or watch are nothing but a function which are which are literally like used to watch a value and then execute once the value we are watching is changed. Okay. So in simple words, let's say if this was view two, then I will have something like this watch. And inside that, uh, we will be watching, say, this message. So I'll be watching this MSG. And then after this message changes, so this would be a function again, and it will take a new value and an old value, something like this. Now, if I go back again over here and write console.log, uh, let's say new value and old value as it is. And if I go back again over here and go to our console, so you will see that we are getting a new value and the old value, then the new value and the old value. So as you could see, whenever the props message is changed, this function is executed. Okay. Now how to write it in view three. So I'll just comment this and in view three, we import what or in composition API, we import what and then we have here something like watch then what we want to watch in this case props the uh, props uh, okay so in this case i have to convert it i'll tell you why we need to do something like two rests and then i have to do something like this uh, msg equal to not msg but msg var maybe something like this two reps props dot msg and then i have to use your msg var now if you notice here i'm watching msg var which is getting assigned from the props so in this case i'm generally watching this props i just in now in composition api when you're using watch the first value is the object value you want to watch or a reactive object value you want to watch so we are converting this props into especially this props message into a reactive value okay it's just in simple words we are watching the props.msg and then we have to execute a function after this msg var changes so i can write same like this like new value and old value and then let's just simply print it. So if I just copy this line and put it over here, and if I go back again over here, if I remove this, and you will see it does nothing different. It just prints the value whenever our props changes, or it just executes this function whenever our prop changes uh, because we are watching this MSG prop, okay? Now, what's the difference between computed property and the watcher? Well, the main difference is computed property has to return a value irrespective of anything. It has to like return something while watcher doesn't necessarily have to return a value or it should never return a value. So what, when to use computed property? So suppose if I just want to have a calculated version of some two, three uh, data variables, or maybe let's take a simple example is I, I want to display a total price based on the unit price and the quantity where even the quantity change the total price change then of course the total amount should be a computed property then when to use watch then so suppose let's take the same example suppose when the quantity change and after the quantity goes beyond say five then i want to trigger an api call just to make sure or say something maybe inside my stock saying that it is going beyond five then should we allow or just a random example like just is it in the stock to check whether it's going beyond five can it be manageable something something like that so in that case we should use watch and we should we should watch the quantity in that case so whenever the quantity reaches beyond five we are triggering an api call so in a nutshell watcher should be used when you want to have a complicated logic, especially a function to be executed based on one value or just one variable. In this case, we are just printing. So this is just a simple function, sarcastically saying it's a complicated simple function. We are just 
printing this function sorry we are just printing this value so this function is printing these values based on this msg var change so whenever this change we are just printing the value here i can also make an api call saying that the value changed so just make an api call something like that so this is when you should use watcher so that's all from me so hope if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing please uh, share with your network if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and i have provided link to my udemy's view 3 course so please do check it uh, check it out so that's all from me till the next time goodbye